What is up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Finally, a sunny day in Iowa. And warm. Never thought it would come. But we're going to finish up the assembly of the cult packer. Still looks about the same as the last time you guys saw it. It's been either raining or cold and windy. Miserable in here in Iowa, so let's get to it. Uh, finish that up quick, and then I want to declutter my garage a little bit. You can see in here, well, it's pretty shadowy, but I've got a lot of clutter here in the middle I need to clean up uh, that built up over the winter. So let's get this thing thrown together and start to declutter that. So gonna finish the cult packer today uh, ATV food plotting this will be the second episode and then probably the third episode I'll go through some of the different implements I've got and then I've got another project uh, for a spreader so stay tuned to the channel guys if you haven't already please subscribe and we're gonna get started You can see I got both sides of the bearing. I already reassembled the shaft and all the wheels. And then the bearing on this side. So I'm gonna go grab the nuts and then we can torque those down. didn't have a socket this big. The biggest socket I had was an inch and a sixteenth. So it must be like inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter.
that's a wrap on those. I'm gonna have to touch up the paint a little bit. You can see it just got sticky from sitting on those saw horses. No big deal. But final step, putting our drive axle on to make it work with ATV. And that is it, finally. From start to finish, all the fabrication and everything, I, took, I think it took us about two weeks to complete. Probably worked on it for maybe three or four evenings. I would guess, I don't know, 10 hours or so total. But it's exactly what I wanted. Uh, there's nothing on the market that's this heavy. Um, all the ATV, Cult packers you see on the market are like 8 inch wheels. This is a 14 inch wheel cult packer. It's got to be, oh, I would say north of 300 pounds total weight. And then I can just flip it over uh, for these ATV wheels and pull it if I have to pull it down the road a little ways or down some trails um, and not worry about burning up the cult packer. All those discs are cast iron, so if you hit them, hit a rock or something at decent speed, you have a potential of cracking them, so it'll just be safer pulling it around, getting it on and off the trailer and everything uh, with those tires on there, so I'm pumped. This thing should work awesome. Uh, I'm going to put it to work here in probably, oh, another week or two. I've got a fairly big plot that we're going to seed some clover in. So we're going to broadcast, we'll broadcast, seed all the clover into that plot. It's probably about an acre and a half. And then cult pack all of it. So it should be awesome. But stay tuned for the videos coming up. Um, like I said, I got another project coming. Getting the Fimco, oh it's a big ATV, 100 pound spreader. Uh, I got to build some custom brackets for that. So I'm going to start on that this week. And then... I'll show you my disc, my mower, I got a sprayer, the spreader, cult packer, and I'm still looking for a drill. I'd like to find an old 10 foot drill and cut it in half and make it into a five footer uh, to use behind my ATV, but we'll see. Hopefully we can find one this summer uh, and work on that this winter. But Otherwise, thanks again guys for stopping by. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.